cracking YouTube, Jobber here, and all right, I have a little bit of a story time for you. So you remember that Party City buyout video that we did? If you haven't checked that out, you need to check it out. But if you remember that video, it was absolutely epic. We opened up a bunch of like mystery blister packs and everything, and we pulled some really cool stuff. Well, that exact same day in the same exact par and parking structure, like a little shopping center area. So we have the Party City is like the same right here, and on the same on the other end on the corner, there is a Goodwill. So I had two dog leashes. One dog leash is over at my house, and I had and I used to have one over at my mom's. Well, I, I don't know. I misplaced one. I, I, I don't I don't know if it fell into a box, I threw it away, it's gone, I can't find it, poof. I went over to Goodwill to go check around to go see if they had one of those, uh, just one of those good dog leashes. The one that wants, you know, they either go like 10, 15, or 20 feet. They got the little levers. You can like lock it and they, they extend to give your dog like some free range. They'll like want, want to run around. So I'm walking around and I'm in this section where there's like clocks and boxes and there was like this giant plumber's wrench and all kinds of random things. And I come across this Yu-Gi-Oh tin. It was like piled with a bunch of crap on it. So I moved the stuff off. It had like some tools and a pair of pliers or whatever so when i felt this it was it, it felt heavy so my first impression was someone used this yukio tin and they put like some nails or something like that you know tools and nails, because just because of the section of where it was at i go and i open up the tin and the thing was just absolutely packed full of booster packs i could not believe it and it wasn't marked. There was no sticker on this thing for sale. So I had to go and I asked an employee. The employee sent me to the cashier and then I asked the cashier and she's like, it's, I don't know. So a supervisor or a manager, whoever the woman was, came over and she said, oh, well, you know, it's it's not marked. She's like, how about $10? Does $10 sound fair? I was like, oh, okay. So $10 and we got all of these booster packs. It looks like there's only four different Yu-Gi-Oh sets in here. And I have absolutely no idea if these booster packs were scaled so if we're opening up these booster packs and these were the reason why they're sitting inside of a tin stuff like this inside of a goodwill because a, a mother or whatever got rid of them for their son i don't know if the son just kept them just opened up a bunch of like Yu-Gi-Oh tins himself and stuffed booster packs into a tin or these were scaled or whatever so if these don't have any foils i apologize ahead of time but we're gonna pop open all these and hopefully we get some incredible pulls i cannot believe I have never gotten this many booster packs for such a, a little amount of money in my entire life. $10 for all these booster packs. I actually didn't even count how many booster packs were. I mean, this thing is a tight brick of booster packs. I mean, I and it's and it, we have like classic, we got like Galactic Overlord, and we have Cosmo Blazer, a Photon Shockwave, and then Lord of the Talkion Galaxy. So the thing I noticed immediately when I took these out is they are not first edition. So I don't know if these came from like, like the old Yu-Gi-Oh tins or like, I, I don't know, like blister packs or something back in the day. And he's bought a bunch of them and he stuffed them into a tin. But I mean, they're not first, but they're classic. And we have a ton of booster packs and I cannot wait to pop these things open. If you're new to this channel, my name is Jesse. Please give this video a thumbs up so we can reach 1500 likes. And if we get to 1500 likes, I will be giving away a booster box in the most recent set. And I will announce the winner in the comments of the next video. So drop a comment down below so I can actually pick a winner for that. And obviously you should subscribe, bell, turn on all notifications you actually get notified when I post future openings. Also, there's a link in the description down below to my Instagram. You should check that out. Follow me and say hi. I will always say hi back. And without any further ado, let's get cracking. So yeah, I cannot believe it. I can't wait to pop all these open. Even if these are scaled and we have no foils in any of these booster packs. I mean, this is just a ton of booster packs. It's going to be a ton of fun for $10. How can you go wrong? And I, I mean, I don't even know how many packs we have here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is a lot of packs. This one, this one looks like it's more though. Look at that. That's way more than twelve. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve again for that. But we have more. <clears throat> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna put them in piles of twelve, I guess. Or yeah, yeah. I'll make it easier for me to count. So that's six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 12. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then we got, so what is that? 12, 24, so 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54 booster packs. I mean, I would have been more than happy to pay a couple of bucks a pack. So, I mean, $10 for all these? I can't even believe it. So we got all these Galactic Overlords booster packs. 
And we got the Lord of the Telkion Galaxy. I can't remember the last time we've even opened up any of these kind of things. But I know that Lord of the Telkion Galaxy, I know all, I think all these sets, they, <clears throat> they have Ghosters in it. And Ghost Rares are like, I guess the classic version of what we have now are called Starlight Rares. And uh, that's kind of like what they replaced Ghost Rares with is with these new Starlight Rares. So it's actually pretty exciting. But the difference is Starlight Rares, you can actually, you can only pull from a booster packs that are first edition. And Ghost Rares, you can pull them on limited as well. These are on limited booster packs. So we still have a chance of pulling Ghost Rares out of these as long as these booster packs weren't scaled. So all right, without any further ado, let's get cracking. All right, so we'll just move, we'll just start exactly like this right here. We'll just pop up these, uh, these Cosmo Blazer booster packs, and then move over to the Photon and the Lord of Talcon Galaxy, and then we'll guess we'll end things with Galactic Overlord. Just got done cutting my nails, and I really feel like I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> I feel like open up all these booster packs. It's a little bit easier to open up packs if you got just a little bit of nail. Let's see. All right. So we have a, what is it, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Gorilla. That was our first pack there. I will feel so relieved if we end up pulling a hollow, knowing that these, but it's so, so random to be able to find an entire tin of booster packs over at Goodwill. I don't know if a mom was just mad at her son or their daughter or whatever, and they decided to go and donate a bunch of stuff, or maybe they didn't think the tin had anything in it and they just dropped it off with a bunch of other random, oh, right on. Woo, that is awesome. So our first, our, well, second booster pack, we ended up pulling a super rare. So that's really exciting and really good news that these packs weren't just a bunch of scaled booster packs that we actually will be pulling foils today. That is awesome. <laughs> Worth knuckles right there. Cool, so we got a, our first super right there. And as you can tell, these booster packs are classic, so you are not guaranteed a uh, the usual foil that you get nowadays and all the booster packs, so. That is going to be exciting, right on. And then with these classic booster packs, I mean, we these right here, you, you got a chance of pulling ultimate rares and ghost rares and all kinds of good stuff. So that is going to be cool. So we got supers, ultras, ultimates, and ghost and secret rares in here that we can pull. So this is going to be really, really exciting. I hope that we pull, I hope we pull one of every rarity. That would be cool. We have a lot of booster packs to pull, try to pull a ghost rare. <laughs> it is really, really difficult to pull a ghost rare. I don't know if how long you've been into this Yu-Gi-Oh game for, but basically it was it was about one per K. So one per 12 booster boxes, you would get a ghost rare. Just to give you an idea. No fool on that. But yeah, a little bit difficult. <laughs> I think Starlight Rares, I think they're, they're even more difficult to get. I did notice that people that are opening their last booster boxes, they got they got a lot of seems like they got a lot of uh, the new Starlight Rare. So I don't know if they're they're making them a little bit easier to get now, or maybe they just got really lucky on their booster boxes. You never know. And Tinsu there, I, I like the Fire Fist cards are really awesome. That that deck was like one of the contenders out there when uh, Dragon Rulers were the big hot thing out there. And we have a. Uh, the Fire Fist card right there, actually. There's our rare, and no foil on that one. Right on, yeah, and the Lord of the Talcon Galaxy, you got that, I believe it's like number 107, that thing comes in like in all, <laughs> all the rarities, thing comes Ultimate Rare and Ghost Rare in there, and it is a absolute beautiful card. You know how some cards you're looking at them like in an ultimate rare, how some of them just look really, really good ultimate rare. And some of them are just like, you know, it's like, it's ultimate rare. That's cool. Right on. So we have our second super rare here. The Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Snake. 1800 attack, 600 defense. So we got our second super rare there. Actually got a Crimson Blader. That was a card that we're using a lot against the Dragon Ruler matchups back in the old school days. Maybe it's like it destroys a monster by battle. Your opponent can't special summon level five or higher monsters, and all the Dragon Ruler monsters are. <laughs> so basically, it makes it so they just wouldn't be able to play back. But yeah, so some cards that you notice are like when they're ultimate rare, you're like, that looks pretty cool. And then some of them are just like, oh my gosh, you know? I, I don't know. It's just some of them are just like, I really, really like DD Crow. I think DD Crow is always one of my all time top favorite ultimate rares I've ever seen. So I think that card looks really cool. I'm also a big sucker like when the cards are blue. So like when you got like ritual monsters that are ultimate rare, I think they look really, really nice. <laughs> Just my two cents there. Oh, and by the way, I did not find a leash. They had leashes there that had like the normal, <laughs> the little, uh, they, they didn't have like the little extender thing. So I'm going to have to go and order one online, I guess. So I didn't have any. And then literally the next day after I went 
when after I went over to Goodwill, they are closed because of this whole pandemic. So I've had these booster packs sitting here for a long time, and it was, and then we got ended up reaching our hundred thousand subscribers. So then I had some openings I had lined up for that, like the LOB box opening and that giant. Uh, you know, like 18 different sets of Yu-Gi-Oh! So <laughs> I had some different things lined up so this thing got put a little bit on the back burner. So I'm glad to be able to pop open all these right now. And hopefully we get a, well, I'm glad we're able to pull a couple of supers because you just you just never know when you're when you're getting the loose booster packs. But I mean, for 10 bucks, I mean, even if all these packs had rares in it, just to be able to pop all these things open, <laughs> you, you literally can't go wrong. <laughs> I was like, $10, are you? Woo! Right on! Quick Booster Ultimate Rare! Boom! <laughs> I literally was about to say, when I was talking to a woman, I'm like, are you sure? $10? She's like, yeah, it's fine. I'm like, okay. $10 it is. Right on, two supers and we got our first Ultimate Rare. So now we need a Ultra Secret and a Ghost Rare from uh, our last thing of Booster. Oh, that was our last Booster Pack there too, how cool. Sweet, so there's our three foils from our first bundle. Now we got our Photon Shockwave booster packs. These are cla some classic booster packs. I'm surprised that some person had the, the patience to have these just sitting inside their uh, their shelf or their, their closet for all this time. So crazy. The Poisonous Winds. Ooh, I love the dinosaur. Nice, right on. First booster pack, number 20 Giga Brilliant Super Rare. This actually was one of the cards they used in the wind-up deck back in the day to be able to do one of their OTKs. Pretty cool stuff. Off to a good start. First pack, first foil. We have a lot of booster packs to open up. Another one of these Poisonous Winds. That card was like used or something. It was side decked before. Wind monsters cannot be special summoned. All face that wind monsters lose 500 attack. I think they're using that against the magic specters, or they were siding it or something. Or right, let's talk about it. Second booster pack, and then we end up getting a ultra rare. So now we are only missing a secret and a ghost. This one is uh, takes three level four monsters. Once per turn, you can do touch one extra material from this card. Send one card from your hand to the graver. Draw one card. Not too bad. Two X Y Zs. Cool. So Photon Shockwaves, I saw that, so I'm thinking this one, this one must have been one of the sets that had like, I think it has Loggy and Dolka in it, actually. So Dolka is a secret, Loggy is an ultra, it also comes ultimate rare in here. Well, that would be cool. I think so, if I remember correctly, it has, forgive me, it has been a, a very long time since uh, I have pulled a Loggy out of a booster pack, but I think this is the set. And what, this, is, this one has Zen, Zen mains in it as well, I think. He's a rank three. It's, I believe it's like 1,500 attack, 2,100 defense. It's one of those ones that was kind of like a staple they used. Oh, right on! And we ended up pulling a Ultra Logia. We were just talking about it, and there it is. Wow. That is so awesome. This one is absolutely amazing. So... It takes two level four dinosaur monsters. Uh, when a... When a monster's would be normal or special summoned, or a spell trap card is activated, you can detach two materials from this card and negate the summon uh, and or activation and destroy that card. Really an amazing card. It's basically like putting a solemn judgment out there. I forgot to shout out. We'll shout out the KMC Hypermat Sleeves for donating sleeves to the channel so we can sleeve up cards like this when we have these epic moments. That is so cool. We're just talking, just talking about it. I'm like, I'm pretty sure there's Logan Dolka in here. And there they are. How awesome. Cool, so now let's go Let's go see if we can get a Seeker Rare out of here, and then we've pulled everything but a Ghost Rare, and Dolka would be a awesome Seeker Rare to pull, or I believe Zen Mains does come in here. So let's see if we can do this. There's another one of our little... Well, dinosaur guy. That, that deck is actually a lot of fun. It has like some pretty when this set was coming out. It has some really cool support. I was playing. Remember playing that deck over here in my living room with my friends. Just a lot of fun. No foil in there. We were we we're on the hot streak there. Not slowing down a little bit. It's gonna build back up to a secret. I can feel it. I can't remember if this set has. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming all these sets, since they're like kind of like in the same time frame, they all can get a ghost rare in it. But I can't, I can't pinpoint in my brain what the ghost rare was in here. 
cannot remember off the top of my head. Nice, another super rare. Man, we're pulling all kinds of XYZs here. Number 83, Galaxy Queen, super rare. Nice, it takes uh, three level one monsters, so... Well, I guess you would use... Uh... Oh, what would you use? I was thinking the Mystic Shine Balls back in the day, but those are level twos. I don't know. The best way to make that... Easily, obviously. I mean, there's a lot of ways to make it. <laughs> An efficient way, I should say. And then we have our Watt Cobra. I remember the Watt deck. That thing was one of those decks. Where basically, it was, it was almost like it, like Watt. I can't think that was even a name for it. Watt Burn or Watt Control, something like that. They could say so you, you wouldn't be able to play, but they would just keep on attacking you directly and just kind of like pick away at your life points until you lose. That was always one of my uh, one of the scary matchups for me when I was playing anti meta because they had a lot of uh, a lot of cards that would like prevent you from attacking and a lot of protection cards back there, so they could keep on poking you directly. So yeah, that that uh, that deck was always a problem. Another Photon Shockwave. That booster pack opened up like it was a sealed piece of duct tape. <laughs> Crazy. Another Poisonous Winds. We got our po place at a Poisonous Winds. I remember that car was, I think that was what it was. They're, using for the, they're stopping the Magic Spectres because they're like, I think they're all wind. This is back back in the good old days, preventing them from being able to like pendulum summon because it's like a pendulum deck. Oh, there's uh, One Day of Peace in here. Very cool card. Ooh, <laughs> that's cool. It's, it's like he's like he's like mesmerized. His mouth's even a heart. <laughs> it's really really cool. All right. Oh, another bunny in the same pack. We got two bunnies in the same pack there. That's cool. All right, come on. Let's get that secret, rare, everyone. Let's get that energy going. Come on, we want secret rares. We want secret rares. We want secret rares. Or a ghost rare. Ah, no ghost rare, no secret rare. We're actually doing pretty well here, though. We have pulled seven foils so far. Only pulled uh, only pulled that one Fire Fist card foil in there. We could have pulled a bear. Bear's pretty cool. We did pull some rares. There were some common Fire Fist cards in there. All right, getting to the getting to the tail end of our photon shockwave booster packs, and again, I can't remember the last time we have opened up any of these kind of any of these booster packs. Honestly, it has been a it has been a a hot second since we've opened up any of these. Nice. So we end up getting a ultra. I can't even remember what this guy even does. Level four. Uh, once per turn, you can target one face down card in your opponent's spell and trap zone while this card is face up on the field. Its targets cannot be activated. So, I don't know. Is he a machine. I mean, at that point, once you just want to act, once you just want to summon Breaker, <laughs> use Breaker's effect, and uh, I'll just shuffle that back into the <laughs> into the comments there. Use Breaker and just pop the back row. I mean, I was even using back in the back in the old school days, and some of my Antimon actually even using Lila. I mean, that car was just just be able to like destroy your opponent's spell and trap cards, which is so it was so powerful back then. Especially because a lot of people were just sending like Mystical Space Typhoon. That's a, that was always like a bane. So I'll be able to like summon Lila, attack for 17, and then be able to like pop it. That was always nice. Now I'll be able to set my back row in, in peace. Those old school light sworn monsters. So powerful. Deep Dark Trap Hole. Oh, nice. And another super there. Infernity Knight. Very cool, right? I actually pulled a lot of foils in this. Five hollows so far. All right, let's see if we can end things on a secret or ghost rare. We got a cute squirrel. One day of peace, very cool card. Yeah, I should, I should, I should read the one day of peace. So, just in case you guys don't know, uh, each player draws one card. Neither player takes in, uh, takes damage until the end of the next turn. 
So, and if your next, what is it? End of the opponent's next turn. Yeah, it's a really, really good card. And it was a, it was a card that uh, a lot of like different variants of stall decks were using back in the day. I remember running three of those in my friend's Exodia deck. So, all right, so no secret in there. We're gonna move into the Lord of the Talkeon. We have slowly, we I mean, we got the ultimate rare in here and then we end up getting the ultra rare in here. And it's time for us to go move over here and get that secret rare or ghost rare. That would be absolutely epic. We have pulled everything but a ghost and a secret rare. Let's see if we can let's see if we can get both of them in our last two bundles of booster packs. Oh, so we got our battle and boxer lead yoke. He's like the he's like the alpha for the the battle and boxer deck. My friend years ago won their Yu-Gi-Oh Day tournament over here at my locals with the battle and boxers. I actually put a deck profile of it on here on the channel, and this was years and years ago. Really cool stuff. You know, it looks like there's a lot of battle and boxer cards in here. Probably all of them. Another lead yoke, right on. So we end up getting two of those. We need one more. That is a staple for the deck. No hollow there yet. Okay, we're building up to it. This is gonna happen. I can feel it. Well, I think it's one. I think this guy's name is the uh, is number one oh seven. Was it Galaxy Eyes Talkeon Dragon? I believe. Let's see if that will happen. <laughs> Not yet. Now we're getting greedy. Oh my gosh. We have. I I, I was worried first opening these that there's gonna be any foils at all, and now we're trying to get them all. <laughs> Go from one extreme to the next, right? I don't know if there's going to be any foils in any of these booster packs. Let's go see if we can pull every single foil out of these booster packs now. Since I saw the first one, I'm like, yeah, they're not scaled right on. And a scaling, there's like these like really sensitive scales that you can you could like put a booster pack on and tell if they have a foil in it. I think that's the reason why Konami has made it so every booster pack has a rare end hollow in it now, preventing preventing things like that from happening. So that is a plus in my eyes because that was always a fear you know going to the store or getting like loose booster packs and thinking like okay well <laughs> will any of these have any hollows in it we don't know but the new sets you don't have to worry about that as far as i know i don't think there's any way to be able to tell the difference all right come on yeah we haven't pulled a hollow yet it's gonna happen though Lord of the Tokyo Galaxy. That's some battle and boxer love here, though. Oh my goodness! Nice. Yeah, the, this is actually one of the the main constellar monsters for the deck back in the day. I remember this deck? I was having some a really epic duel with one of my friends. He he. Oh my gosh! What he had? Is it? One of the Constellars, I, I, I forget its name. It was the one where I take, you detach, you can basically like compulse a monster. It was used up. It was, it was just a it's just a big beater out there at that point. And uh, he had I had a ice hand in defense position in a back row. He had a yeah he had a back row and then just that. That was all, that's all he had. Looks at my graveyard. I had every I, every ice and fire hand in the graveyard. He attacks into it. I activate my back row. It was a transmigration prophecy. So I shuffle the fire hand and an ice hand back into my deck. He attacks into it. Use ice hand's effect to pop his back row. Special summons a fire hand. And by the way, he had 1100 life points. He had to say go. That was game. Go to my turn. Put the fire hand to attack position. Attacked into it. Goes to the graveyard. Destroys it. Special my last ice hand. I just shuffled back. Attacked him for game. <laughs> so crazy. Crazy. One of those like really really epic duels. That was with my uh, my good old friend Chris. Oh, I forgot that was a uh, that Rhino was in here. That's cool. More battle and boxer love in here. Glass jaw. Okay, so we pulled one foil. It is a super rare. We need a secret or a ghost. Otherwise, we're going, to, we're going to be putting a lot of pressure on a Galactic Overload to, to make it happen. But yeah, I think these these all came from... I don't know if these even had blister packs that were unlimited back in the day, or those deluxe editions. Something like that. Something like blister pack, deluxe edition, or uh, the tins, some of the Zugio tins they 
they had. Maybe they, maybe he just had a bunch of these. Oh, right on. Wow. Harpy Channeler Ultimate Rare. We pulled two Ultimate Rares. That is so awesome. Wow. And what a what an amazing one to pull right here, too. I think all the Harpy cars look so stunning. Wow, that is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Wow. We got a high five for that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is so crazy. Still on the hunt for the secret rear. Oh my goodness. Gotta take this in for a second. That is a beauty. Wow. Dang, these booster packs, we had, a, we had a bunch of foils in it. Oh yeah, those are special editions too. Ooh, nice, a uh, Blaster Dragon Ruler of Infernos there is our rare, very cool card. Those things were expensive back in the day. As a rare thing, they're like 15 bucks a piece. All right, so now all the pressure, as I said, is down to Galactic Overlord to pull us a Ghost Rare and a Secret Rare. Let's see if we can do it, or at least get a Secret or a Ghost. I know Ghost Rare is gonna be really difficult, so <laughs> let's move the energy over to a uh, Secret Rare. A little bit easier. And uh, they got the Insector Ladybug. Oh, I played Insector so much. It was awesome, awesome, awesome deck. Nice, off to a good start. Our first booster pack, we ended up pulling a Super Rare. Right on. Okay, I can feel it. It's gonna happen here. I kinda felt that was gonna happen in the Lord of the Talcon Galaxy, but I must've been feeling the energy of that ultimate rare instead. So now, let's go see if we can get that energy moved over here and get that secret rare pulled. Okay. Giga Cricket. I don't I don't think I ever used that Insector monster in my Insector deck. I do want to remember it. The Centipede, Dragonfly, Gigamantis is basically the, the main ones. Oh, and Ladybug. Oh, right on, Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon Ultra Rare. This is the cover card of the set, so this is the card that you were looking to pull. Wow. Right on, this card is so beautiful. Definitely worthy of being sleeved up, oh my goodness. I absolutely love pulling cover cards. Sometimes the cover card's not even that great of a card. This one actually is a really good card, but my gosh, when you pull a cover card, at least to me, it's always super exciting because you're like looking at it, so it's like the hype card, you know? I think that's cool. Gosh, we got so many. So many amazing cards. I can't believe all these things only cost 10 bucks. Oh my gosh. Nice little uh, nice little episode today. <laughs> It'd be like another like half an hour long opening. Alright. Ooh. We got uh, Beatron here as our ultra rare. Very cool. Sweet. Oh, right on. The Heretic Seal of Reflection Super is our counter trap. When a spell card, trap card, or monster effect is activated, tribute one Heretic monster and negate the activation. If you do, destroy it. Really, really amazing card because you tribute off the Heretic monsters, they got they got their own like effects and whatnot. So it was really, really good. Especially like them having a solemn judgment set back there. Pretty scary card, honestly. <laughs> Because them as a whole were already putting like really scary big monsters out there and th thinking they have a solemn judgment in the background the entire time. That is a little terrifying. Okay, down to our last, our last few booster packs here. Let's see if we can do it. Come on. Secret rare ghost rare. Secret rare ghost rare. <laughs> Let's do it. Photon Pablo Operative. Okay. A 
What do we got here? Oh, we got an L. <laughs> Gonna make it all epic at the very end. It's Storm. It's a car that's getting a little bit of play. All right, three more packs to go. Like I've said before, it only takes one to do this. Let's see if we can get that secret rare or that ghost rare. Heretic Dragon. Light Ray. Eh? Oh, no foil. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is going to be getting really epic here. Last two booster packs. Okay. Let's see if we can get there. Okay. G -g Gardner. Oh, got a super rare there. Nice. Okay. Woo! Last booster pack here coming up. We're not even guaranteed fulls into these booster packs as it is. So just the amount of fulls that we pulled so far in this opening has been just been crazy. All right, last booster pack. And the cards are upside down. Okay, I'm just going to keep the pack there. Oh my gosh, they are really upside down. What is going on? Okay, I think like half these cards are upside down and half these cards are right side up. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it in case there actually is a foil in here. But you can see like the top of the star, I mean the bottom part of the card is upside down up there. So the Evos, oh no foil, but the cards roll like half upside down, half right side up in the booster pack. I got all hypey about it, like oh my gosh, factory air booster pack, let's go. All right, so uh, these are all the foils that we ended up getting. We got a lot of foils. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 hollows. Oh my gosh. 10 bucks, 16 hollows. Not too bad. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. This was absolutely epic. And I was super worried about doing the opening to begin with because I really thought these booster packs were going to be like scaled or something was going to be wrong with them. I was pleasantly surprised that I was wrong. I, I love it when I'm wrong in this kind of way. They had so many hollows and we got pulled all these epic ultimate rares. I, I got this quick boost and then we got the Harpy Channeler here. Two uh, just amazing looking ultimate rares. And then we were talking about Logia and we ended up pulling it. How awesome is that? Right on. Well, again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe bell. Follow me on Instagram. There's a link in the description down below. So check that out. Comment so I can actually pick a winner once this video reaches 1,500 likes. I will announce the winner in the comments of the next video. So stay tuned for that. And Jobber here is signing out.